And so what can happen on the other side? And what happens on the other side is the encounter. Now, what is the encounter? On a biological level, the encounter is the resonance between two brains. The relational neurobiologists call this resonance the brain bridge. Two limbic systems that resonate together. The, the seat of our emotions beginning to resonate together. And relational neurobiologists have found that when there is this resonance between two brains, our central nervous system begins to calm down. Because they've also discovered that our brain is the only organ inside of us that doesn't regulate from within. It regulates on the outside through another brain. We need each other for self-regulation. We can only regulate through the other, through the eyes of the other, through that resonance. And what happens then is very interesting because 10 years ago, approximately, relational neurobiologists discovered those mirror neurons that we have in our brain, our capacity for compassion, for empathy, for deep, deep understanding of the other. And during the encounter, these mirror neurons become very alive. And what happens then? New neural pathways begin to form in the brain. New neural pathways that give us the capacity to be in relationship. Because the brain has been found to have an enormous plasticity. It can change at any time during our lifetime. And so these new neural pathways that are formed in our brain give us a chance to become more relationally intelligent and more relationally mature. So that is the encounter in the biological sense. But in another domain, it is harder to define what the encounter is. It is the meeting of two full human presences, or two human essences, or the life force in each person, or the meeting of two souls. And what is that life force? What is the human essence? 